Hey, what's up, usual suspects? Welcome back to the show. And for all you new cats out there who are just now checking this channel out, welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the fam. Look, I do all kinds of stuff, man. I do tech reviews on headphones, Bluetooth speakers, dash cams, and all kinds of other stuff. And then I throw in a little vlog in there too. So make sure you hit that like button. Go ahead and hit it right now. You're gonna like the video, I promise. And then make sure you hit that subscription button and the bell because I'm always opening up some hashtag new stuff. Hey, hashtag new stuff in the comments if you're ready to get this unboxing underway. Let's do it. Today we're opening up the A129 Duo Dual Channel Wi-Fi Dash Cam by Viofo, or I hope I said that right, Viofo, <laughs> or Viofo, I don't know, man. But look, I'm kind of excited about this dash cam because I got a lot of stuff here, man. Some, some of the stuff I've never seen uh, involved in a dash cam before. So this is gonna be a little bit different for me too. And it has of course a front camera, but you also have a rear camera that goes in your back dashboard. Uh, that way you can capture the cars coming behind you. And also got a little surprise here for you. This is the uh, A129 Duo IR. This is an in-car camera for all you Uber and Lyft drivers out there, man. So I got something for y'all too, y'all stand by. We got a uh, an A pillar or B or C pillar tool to pry it apart so you can do your install. What is this? This is a USB, I don't, I forget which one is. Oh, mini USB. Yeah, mini USB cable. So that's how it's powered, it looks like, or that's a connection. You know, let me move. Oh man, I got so much stuff here. All right, so all the stuff that comes in the box is going to be right here. <laughs> yeah, okay, right here. And then, let me see, where, where, okay, I already talked about that. So this is a super long car length uh, adapter. It was actually a separate cable and that goes into like one of those cigarette deals. Uh, so you can power the camera up. There's so many accessories. If you have a trouble hooking this thing up, it's your own fault because it looks like they give you everything that's needed. All right, so you got this cigarette lighter bad boy right here that uh, with the USB, and it has two USB ends for powering things up. Then you have a, let me just open this up. Let me just tear this stuff up, man. Get it out of here because I'm OCD about messes. So we got a short cable, and then this is micro USB. No, this is mini USB. This is mini USB, but it's thicker and longer. This says connect to the rear camera. This says connect to the front camera. So that's that. I wonder what this one's for. Oh, power. Okay, so this is camera to camera and then this is power right here. That's why it has the USB A right there. Okay, hello. Threw me for a loop there for a second. Then you got some, um, some, uh, some 3M tape here so you can uh, stick it up on your windshield or whatever you, wherever you're putting it. Then you got some cable ties or cable organizers right here. And let's open up the cameras. All right, so this will be, this is, this is the rear camera. So this one you mount on your back dash. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do this, man. Don't worry about it. I ain't gonna leave you stranded out there in them streets without instructions. But yeah, you put this on your back dash and it is adjustable. So you can just kind of put it up there and you just adjust it however you want to. Nice and clicky and tactile. There's that power input that I just spoke on. Here is the main camera. This is the star of the show right here. So we gotta get this thing powered up. You have your sticky tape right there. You got your camera right here and you can angle that any which way you want. You got a micro SD card slot. This is a reset button. You got a mic. It looks like a fan or some, there's definitely a speaker here, uh, but it looks like it has a nice little opening for a fan if it needs to cool itself off. I see Wi-Fi, record, mic, and all kinds of stuff. We'll see how this looks when we get it powered up. And then let's go into some of these accessories. Man, there's so much here. All right, so what is this? This, yeah, this is a hard wiring kit, man. So I'm gonna have to hardwire this bad boy into my car because I don't like wires everywhere. If, if, if you're a G, you don't want all them wires all over your dash and window and stuff. So get the hard wiring kit. All right, so you got your USB right there and you got your, looks like uh, you got your AC battery and your ground cable. And then it, you know, it ties into your USB right there. All right, we got a lot of stuff to run through. All right, and then we have, uh, oh, the wireless Bluetooth remote control. I thought this was a, a lens, so you get, it comes with a battery. All right, you got some sticky tape there. What is this remote control for? This gonna be a long video. There's a lot of stuff here, man. <laughs> it's a long, detailed video. Oh, okay, so there's already a battery in it. This is a spare battery, sweet. So whatever this is, is a remote. I'm not sure why you would need it, but we're gonna figure that out too. And then we have a circular polarizing lens. 
All right, so for those of y'all that don't know what a circular polarizer is, uh, we use it with our cameras, like, you know, with DSLR or mirror mirrorless cameras. Basically, it's like having sunshades for your camera. So if you got a lot of sunlight coming in through a camera, it, it kind of just blows everything out and it's all bright and washed out. And uh, it, it's think of your eyes when it's on a super sunny day, you see kind of a glare on everything and um, it's, it's just washed out. And then when you put on some shades, you can open up your eyes all the way and you can see clearly and all the, the uh, all the glare is gone. So they, this is basically if you think of the camera, where did it go? If you think of the camera as a uh, an eyeball, the this is just glasses for your little eyeball. So it has these little tabs right here, it just kind of locks on. And then your eyeball camera has some shades right there. I wonder if this works for the back too. Oh, it does. I can see it. Yep, it works for the back camera too. So it goes on the back, boom, and you got some eyeballs. Or you got some sunglasses, some ojos for your uh, <laughs> for your camera there. That's a nice handy thing to have. I've never seen a dashboard, I mean a dash cam, to come with something like this. So that's that's a nice accessory. All right, now moving on. This is the dash cam that shoots in the inside of the vehicle, and it does have the clip for the. Um, for the polarizer so that can be used on there too I'm not sure why you would need it inside but i do see a speaker here or a mic rather uh it is rotatable so that's nice so it's constructed very similarly to the rear cam so this is the rear cam that shoots on the outside of the car like so you can see the cars behind you this is the inside car cam they're very very closely related in construction this is just a little bit bigger but if you see the biggest difference here where you have these little microphones it's been replaced with ir sensors that means that it will see in your car at night so when you're driving at night uber driver or whatever you're doing right my man robbie's an uber driver so robbie this one's for you so if you if you uber in at night you can capture the people inside of your car doing their shenanigans in the back <laughs> <laughs> because it has the IR uh, IR things in here. That way it's lit up and it's just not some dark grainy footage that you can't see. So yeah, man, this is gonna be an exciting video. Before we go outside, I have to show you some of this stuff. I had to take it to the instructions. This camera does so many things. Uh, it wouldn't be right to show you in the car. I, I would never do it any justice. So let's just do it right here. So I got this plugged up to my Samsung uh, power brick. This is where your power goes in. Uh, where it says USB right there. So you plug it in, then you're gonna see the little red record light flash and give it a moment and then you just press the menu button and it should power on. All right, so now we got power going to it. You see where the uh, the logo flashes. So can you see that? Let me see. Yeah, you can see that. Let me put that right there. Okay, so now you got your image. You only have one image because you only got one camera hooked up. But before we go into anything else, let, you know what? Let's go ahead and plug in a camera. So it, you got the 129 Duo, right? You only get the choice between one or the other. You cannot hook three cameras up at the same time. It's only two at the same time. So this is the 129 Duo. This is the one where you can hook it up to, uh, you can run it to the back of your car and uh, you will be able to see the cars behind you. This is the A129 IR i.e. the uh, the IR sensors right there so you can see inside of the car. So right now let's talk about the Uber people, man. I want to do I want to do some justice for my Uber drivers out there. So we're going to hook up this one. So what you do here is uh let me see. So they give you this cable right here. So this actually tells you it says front camera right here. So we hook up the front camera where it says rear. I know that's a little weird, but you just hook it up right there and then you plug this in right here on the side and it automatically, you don't have to do anything else. It automatically starts doing its thing. Let me bring it in just a little bit closer. Hold on, get in here, man. Get in there, there you go, there you go, get in there. All right, so we got two images. You got one looking at the table and then you got one looking at my beard. All right, so let me back it out a little bit so I can show you some more stuff. All right, so now, since we got two cameras hooked up, and this one is the IR, remember that. We're looking at IR because it has infrared. Let's go into the menu setting. Before you can go into the menu setting, you have to hit record to stop it from recording. And then we can go into the menu settings. Let's see if we can get this beeping to go away. Okay, there it is, it's off. So you got your resolution right there. Let's go ahead and select that. Uh, once, you, once you're in the menu setting, the record and the mic button actually become the uh, up and down button. So you can choose which one you want. If you had only one camera hooked up, uh, if you were just using the main camera, it would give you more options. But when you have two cameras hooked up, you only get the 1080p to 1080p 
uh, camera setting. So let's go down to the bit rate. Don't need to get into that, not interested. Live video source. Uh, you get to choose the front camera, rear camera, uh, rear overlay or front overlay. So you get to choose which camera you want to be the bigger one or the smaller one. And uh, let's go into loop recording. You know what? I like to have mine at 10 minutes personally. So let's change that. Uh, WDR. Let's turn that on because you need that, that color, that saturated color. I don't mess with exposure. You got parking mo mode, motion detection, GPS. That's optional. Uh, your speed units I'm in America so we're gonna do miles per hour G sensor let's let's look at this G sensor mm, middle sensitivity off low high okay let's leave it right at middle uh, date stamp oh Wi-Fi I forgot about that we'll go to that in just a second date stamp GPS info car model stamp record audio wow we got a lot of stuff boot delay date and time Beep sound. Let's turn that off. I hate the freaking beeping. So go to the app store and download the VOFO app on your phone. And then you can uh, go ahead and connect it to your camera. Use the instructions to do that. I'm not going to walk you through that because I expect you to be able to read. But then you can say connect to your camera. So we're connecting to the camera right now. And power up the antenna. Okay, so to turn on the Wi-Fi, you can either go through the menu here and then turn it off or on, and now you got 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. It recommends you use the uh, the five gigahertz. Bam, Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi is actually on right now. Let's go back out of the menu, and that Wi-Fi should be kicked on. There it is, there's a little Wi-Fi logo. And now we can connect to the, oh, my Wi-Fi is off, okay. <laughs> yeah, so first you gotta have your Wi-Fi on your phone, okay? So there it is, it's connecting, it's auto connecting because I've previously connected, but it's a simple, simple process. I didn't have any trouble with it. So you go back to the app, hit connect to your camera, and then now I'm gonna put this camera down. Well, let me set it up. So you can see two views right here on my phone. Let me see if it'll do it in landscape. Yeah, we can have landscape. So you got your rear camera right there, and then you have your, well, this is your indoor camera right here. Your inside of the car camera, I mean, I need like a third hand. All right, so if you see this, it's only like a, a, I don't even know if it's a one, it's barely a one second delay in the camera. So this is the inside of the car camera, and this right here is the main dash cam. And there's, man, there's almost no delay in this. It's a strong connection. So you have that option right there. So let's go ahead and turn it back into portrait so we can walk through some of this menu stuff. So right now it is not recording. But if you wanted to, if you want to, oh, actually it is recording. So let's hit, let's stop it from recording because I can see the little flash right there. So it's not recording. Let's go into this and that'll show you all the recording that you've done, whether it be a picture or whether it be video or something like that, you can actually view it on your phone. So this is me goofing off with the camera right here. And this is all the stuff we've done earlier. So let's just check one of these out, see how it looks. Yeah, so it just, wow, okay, it captures sound and everything. So it's just capturing me goofing off. And you can actually delete all this stuff here. I won't do it right now. And then we can go into, let's wait till it's done doing its thing. All right, so now we can go into uh, video settings. So like I said, you got all the same settings we had earlier that were in the camera. Now you can actually toggle them on your phone. So it's a lot easier to use if you're connected via Wi-Fi. So I don't really need to mess with any of this stuff because we already just went through it. Let's just open all this up, get that thing out of there. Okay, and it says, hold it for three seconds to pair with the camera. Let's get this screen on, see what happens. Let's just press for three seconds. Okay, I saw it flash red and blue and I don't know what, Oh, wow, it's paired. Okay, so what this is useful for is, uh, you have your emergency button right here, then this is a quick button to take a snapshot. You'll see right there if you hit it, let's say you had an accident or something like that. Uh, you needed a quick shot at something that just happened. So you take a quick picture and you see your little alert right there saying that you took a picture. So it's saved on the memory card and it's protected. This is a remote shutter button for that. So instead of reaching up on top of your windshield trying to find this little button right here, you can actually just press this right here. So you can mount this somewhere really convenient for you to touch and uh, that way you don't have to reach up and fumble around trying to find that. So now let's take this thing to the car and get it installed. That way you can see some good quality road footage. So the installation process wasn't too bad, but I will warn you, uh, 
those cables are thick. So yeah, you're gonna need that that tool <laughs> to pull back your uh, your A pillars and B pillars. Those are some thick cables. Anyways, you are currently listening to the audio coming directly from the camera. Here's my scratch test to prove it. I need to tap that. So yeah, that's the audio from the camera. So you can see how much road noise you're gonna get. This is actually a pretty quiet car, but you know I just wanted to give you a feel for you know how it picks up voices and blocks out uh, the ambient noise. So I had to mount this thing. Because the cables are so thick and because of the layout of the uh, or the configuration of the inputs, I uh, set it up kind of like I would be an Uber driver. I have the main camera pointing out uh, toward the street on the left side of the mirror, of the, of the rear view mirror, and then I have the, uh, the inside camera, the cabin camera. I'm covering it up. <laughs> I got the cabin camera actually on the, uh, the passenger side of the mirror. And then I have the uh, the rear view camera, which is not hooked up right now. I'll have to hook it up later because like I said before, you can only hook up one at a time. And the kit only comes with one or the other. So you have to choose either the duo version or the IR version. But I do have the uh, the rear camera hooked up in the back and we'll go ahead and get some footage from that in, uh, in a few moments, maybe when it's dark. Um, but right now you're looking at daytime footage. I do not have the circular polarizer on because it is a seriously overcasted day. Typically a circular polarizer kind of darkens the footage and I don't need that today because uh, it, you know, it kind of takes out the glare. That's why it kind of darkens the footage. Don't need that inside or outside today. Um, but what I did notice is that you might need to update the firmware for the IR cam. Uh, my my software was I think version 1.5 and it did not have any options for the IR camera whether it be on uh, auto or full black and white all the time or uh, color so if you're noticing right now oh as far as the update just go to the uh, to the VOFO website and look up firmware updates they give you very simple instructions and it's easy to update the thing and it only takes like I don't know two minutes so go ahead and update it if you got if you ended up with the wrong software. Go ahead and update it yourself. It's easy to do. But if you notice, I have on a black shirt. It's not purple. It's black. So <laughs> a lot of the blacks are super dark colors are actually going to be kind of purplish in the daytime. And I do believe so at night. I guess we'll have to see about that later too. But at nighttime, when the when the LEDs come on, when the infrared LEDs actually turn on. Uh, everything goes to black and white and it's a nice clean image uh, this thing does a really great job at night but like I said I'll throw in some night footage a little bit later on once the Sun goes down so you can see that oh yeah I forgot to show you guys the rear view camera well there it is uh, that's the rear view camera it is engaged now once again you do not get all three cameras it's you get the main camera and you have the choice between the IR version or the duo version, which has the rear camera. Uh, I guess you could use the rear camera inside if you wanted to, but then you don't have a rear camera. But this is how the footage looks from it. I think it looks pretty good from what I'm seeing on the, uh, the dash cam here. All right, I'm back on these suburban streets after dark, man. Yeah, <laughs> it gets real on these suburban streets after dark. Anyways, uh, I wanted to come out tonight to uh, show you what the footage looks like on the inside of the car at night. It should be black and white, and hopefully it's not upside down because I was messing around rotating the images earlier. Yes, you can rotate the image if you want to. So hopefully it's not upside down. But I think it's got a really good uh, nighttime image on the inside of the car with the IR. This is the IR camera. This is the in-cabin camera. Uh, in just a moment, I'll go ahead and give you some footage from the uh, from the, uh, the duo camera. Yeah, I've switched back over to the uh, rear windshield camera and we are also looking at the, of course, the, the main dash cam here. It doesn't have infrared back there, so I'm wondering how the image is gonna be at night, if it's on a dark road or something like that. If someone's behind you, uh, there may be some glare. You might have to put that circular polarizer on and that could be a good use for that. But so far through this little screen up here, I think it's a two inch screen. So far through this screen, I'm seeing the front uh, pretty good and I am also seeing the uh, rear cam pretty good. I can see those headlights in the back uh, Just in case I don't know all kinds of stuff goes down at night man And you might need to get it on on camera man You know a police officer might be pulling you over for some BS Then you might need to catch that how he pulled you over and stuff like that 
and of course you got the microphone going off right now you can hear my voice nice and clear I did hear that earlier as I was reviewing the daytime footage so overall I think this is a good camera for any kind of user particularly though if you're an Uber or a Lyft driver or any type of taxi driver chauffeur whatever you have going on as far as driving goes uh, this camera is actually gonna help you out anyways I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff but I do like dash cams, and uh, this one is good to go in my book. So if you had a good time checking out this dash cam with me, you go ahead and throw those emoji hands up in the comment section, and I'll see you at the next one. All right, apparently you had a good time watching this video. Well, today is your lucky day, because I didn't already made a whole bunch of them for you to go back and binge watch. But if you just want to check out the new stuff, you make sure you smash on that subscribe button and tap that little bell. That way you'll know when it's time to come back and open up some new stuff.